Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone, gonna do a fun little prediction here in this video, and I did one of these on a Brock Purdy card about a year ago or so. And maybe once or twice a year, a card comes out right out of the gate that is just way overhyped, way overpriced, uh, to the point where it's you know very, very obvious to me, or let's say it's very, very likely that the card will drop significantly in value in the short term. Uh, it doesn't even matter about the player's performance or how they do on the on the field or the court. It, it's it can't overcome the supply and demand rules, and uh, you know in the in the not too distant future, maybe that's a couple months or maybe that's a year, but in the not too distant future, you'll be able to buy the card for a lot less than it uh, is going for today. And we have a situation, one of those situations occurred in the last week or so, so we're gonna go over it here and uh, make a make a fun prediction on it. All right, the card in question, as you already know from the thumbnail, is this 2023 Panini Prism. Victor Wembanyama rookie is just his base prism rookie. It's not the silver or anything like that. And I'm recording this on January 12th. And on eBay, there were a number of sales of the card on January 11th. Uh, here's five of them that all went for right around $100. So that's what it's selling for as I record this video. What's funny is the first sales we see were actually one day earlier on January 10th. And those were actually going for more like 120 on average. Here's five sales from the first day the card shows up or sales of the card shows up on eBay. So, you know, already $20 down after just one day, and it's a good example of why you, you generally do not want to be the buyer on a card like this right out of the gate. Uh, you should usually let it breathe a little bit. I mean, there's going to be exceptions, but for the most part, that's the case. On the Brock Purdy prediction I made, very similar situation. Uh, it's just a card right out of the gate that was way, way too high given uh, given the print runs and, and how much how much the supply there was of the card. Part of that had to do with the fact that not all the supply had hit eBay yet, and that's definitely the case with the Wembenyama as well. Uh, there's a bazillion of them, but just, you know, not everybody has, has rushed to get them on eBay, so it's not like you can go on eBay and just find a bazillion of them, even though eventually you, you will be able to. But with the Purdy, when I made the video, it was selling for around $40 or so, and I made the prediction that within a few months, assuming the 49ers did not win the Super Bowl, you would be able to go buy the card on eBay for under $10. And the, the prediction itself was technically wrong, although the uh, spirit of the prediction was completely right. Uh, a couple months later, or the date, whatever date I had predicted, uh, you, you you could buy the card for like 10 to $15 on eBay comfortably. So it dropped from 40 to, you know, 10 to 15 in the matter of a couple months. And, you know, for anyone wondering, the card currently sells for about 15 to 20. Uh, so, you, you know, remember it was selling for 40 to 50 right out of the gate. And even though he's had two amazing seasons and the 49ers are, you know, s serious Super Bowl contenders, uh, the card's still way, way down. So very similar situation to the Wembenyama here. Uh, it's his Prism Rookie. There's a lot of hype around it. There's always a lot of excitement around Prism Rookies, but Panini is just going to print this card to the moon. Uh, it is not going to be proved to be a rare card. And $100, this is not going to be... I mean, I shouldn't say there's no chance. You know, maybe he is truly the greatest player ever, or uh, or maybe I'm overestimating how much Panini is going to print this card, or something else happens. But, you know, almost surely or very, very, very likely this card will not be able to maintain its $100 price tag that it's uh, sitting at at the moment. Quick side note, and a couple of people have done videos about this, including uh, Neo Cards and Comics, really funny what he, uh, he he mentioned about it, but this is a pretty lazy job of Photoshop here from Panini. You know, just a very thick white outline around Wembenyama for the Photoshop. Obviously, he was just that, that photo was just cut and put in front of this, and then why did they choose this background? It's like a black curtain on like a high school stage, or I don't know, a black curtain on a, in front of a wooden floor with wires. I mean, it's just a, a very strange choice for the background on this card. And again, the Photoshop job, I think, is a, a little bit lazy. Ironically, the Brock Purdy card also has a very lazy Photoshop job. If you look at his right foot, it's just flat out missing, and there's no reason for it to be missing. There's nothing that should be blocking it. He just does not have a right foot for whatever, so... Uh, the two cards I've done predictions like this on both have lazy Photoshop jobs by Panini, for whatever that means. But back to the Wembenyama, and I've already mentioned that the supply of this card is going to end up being so high that it's just not going to matter how good he is. Uh, the demand just will not be able to, to keep up with the supply, and, and the prices are almost surely going to drop, or at least that's my prediction. If we want to look at some of the best players over the, the last few years, and their Prism rookies just to get a, a general sense, or you know a, a baseline sense, uh, here's Zion Williamson in his 2019 Panini Prism rookie uh, base card, currently selling for around ten dollars, maybe you know maybe a few in the fifteen dollar range. But uh, th this is what his card sells for. This is the the equivalent rookie card of the Wembenyama. Now you could say Wembenyama could ultimately be better than Zion. That's certainly true, and you know, I would it's likely that Zion will end up having more rookie cards than Wembenyama. So 
you know, the Women Yama could ultimately outshine the Zion significantly, but, you know, 10 bucks, that's what the Zion uh, sells for. Similar thing here, 2020 Panini Prism Anthony Edwards rookie currently goes for about 10 bucks or so, maybe maybe some of as high as 15 You know, Anthony Edwards, he's a top, you know, 20, 20 player in the league, still a, a young star in the league. Uh, SGA, 2018 Prism rookie, I mean, SGA is probably a top 10 player in the league, and his rookie, his Prism rookie goes for about 15 bucks or so. If someone was trying to counter that argument and say the Wembenyama can hold its value, uh, probably the best data point would be Luka Doncic. His 2018 Prism base card raw sells for about 60 to $70. I would just say that the Doncic is sort of an iconic card of a generation, you know, kind of like the 89 Upper Deck Griffey and sort of gets a, a, a huge boost in value from that. The Wembenyama is unlikely to follow that path, but again, certainly, uh, certainly possible. All right, so my official prediction, and remember, technically I'm 0-1 in my predictions on this channel, but my official prediction is as of June 1, you will be able to go on eBay and buy this card for under $40 all in. And I don't mean like there'll be some fluky, really, you know, one fluky, really low sale. I mean, you'll be able to go on eBay and there'll be plenty of copies available for under $40 all in. Uh, and remember, it's currently selling about $100. Now I'm going to throw in a bold prediction, which is as, as of April 1st of this year, so two months prior to that, you'll be able to uh, buy it for under 50. I'm not super confident about that one, but I, I do think that one's in play uh, as well. And I want to just throw in one little caveat, which also threw in on the Brock Purdy video. You know, if you're a collector and you just really want this card for whatever reason, you're a Spurs fan or you're a Wembenyama fan or you're an NBA fan, it'd just be really cool to have the Prism rookie of the number one overall draft, overall draft pick who looks like a future superstar and you've got 100 bucks and it's not a big deal for you to spend. I mean, well, yeah, go, go buy the card, of course. You know, there's value in owning a card now that you really want as opposed to waiting for it later. There, there's value in that. And as a collector, you should never feel bad about that for, for wanting something or, or spending money on something that you want. So I just want to make sure that that's uh, very, very clear. But that's it for my uh, prediction. And I would lo really love two things from everyone in the comments. Uh, one, do you agree with this prediction? Do you think it's too far? You know, would you go along with it? Would you, would you bet against it? And two, uh, if I get this wrong, like with the Brock Purdy, what should my punishment be? With the Purdy, I gave out 10, uh, 10 of those cards to the first 10 people who came up to me at the next card show. Uh, so we can do something like that. Or if you want to be, you know, silly with your idea, those are always appreciated as well. But really appreciate everyone watching and see you all again uh, next time. Thanks, everyone.